Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna add some VFX and sound effects and hit animations to our combat system. And yeah, let's just begin by opening the hit server script. And let's actually get a new event. And that is our um, VFX event. So let's just do events.vfx. Okay. Um... Then we can also make um, some changes to it here. So we can ch also check if the enemy human is even alive before dealing damage. So if the em enemy's human health is above zero, then we only do the damage and stop the animations and stuff. Okay, but now let's actually do the effects. So, for the effects that we did like five episodes ago, um, we need to do the um, we need to have the VFX event, then fire all clients, then with combat effects, uh, you can also open that again to to see um, what you need to do. Combat effects, then we need the effect we want to have, then the position or the C frame. And then the time we want to destroy it. Um, so in our hit servers, we want to have the blood effect. So let's do replicate search dot effects dot combat dot blood. That's well this effect right here. Then we want to position it at our enemy character's torso. Um, or we can even make it at a hit point, I think, by just doing hit dot C frame. Oh, not just hit, just hit. Just hit. Um, and no, hit dot C frame. My bad, my bad. Um, and then also the set time, just like two or three seconds should be enough for the particle to fully play. Okay, let's check that out. Um, yep, okay. You can see the uh, effects are uh, yeah, being emitted properly. And we can't damage them when they're already dead. Okay, nice. And I think yeah, the effects are being emitted at the point that hit the enemy. That's also pretty cool. Okay, now let's add some sounds, so we can open up the toolbox, search like for cut, then um, we'll get a nice sound. I'm gonna take this. Um, okay, then then open your, in your sound service, the SFX folder, then weapons, then rapier. And let's, in that combat um, thing, you want to have a new sound, that's your hit sound. You can change the properties how you want. Um, yeah, and then put your sound there. Bam. Make sure to have that for all your weapons. Okay. And then we can simply just play the sound with our um, sounds module. So, sounds module dot play sound. Then weapon sounds our weapon in square brackets um, and then combat dot hit the sound and then add our enemies char enemy characters torso okay that should work hopefully perfect um Nice. And now we can just add some head animations and we can simply do that by um, making some new animations in here. I've already uh, prepared them, so I don't have to make them now. Um, boom, boom. 
I can show them. So uh, in your weapon you want to have a new folder and that folder is called hit. And in that hit folder you have hit 1, hit 2, hit 3 and hit 4. Make sure to have that for both of your weapons. And then let's go into our combat server script. Uh, go down here. And here we're gonna uh, type our first, let's get to hit service again. And add three dots here. And then we're gonna say that the hit animation equals to the three dots. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then we can go back here. And after hitbox, you're gonna get the um, animation. So first you need to declare uh, our weapons animation here again. You can just drag that from here. Uh, weapons animation and the animations folder. Boom. And then down. Let's actually make this a variable. So local um, hit animation equals to weapon animations. Then square brackets current weapon and dot hit. And then in that hit folder we want to search for hit. And then our current combo. The number of our current combo. Okay. And then just put after hitbox the hit animation. And then in back in your hit service module, we want to write um, after the stop animations. And put all of this after the stop animations. Um, we want to write a humanoid dot animator loads <laughs> loads animation, and then our hit animation, and let's play that animation. Okay. Let's see if that works. That works perfectly. All right. Um, yeah, I think that uh, wraps up this episode. I'm just gonna test it with the, our other weapon again real quick. Yeah, that bit uh, also works. Uh, and I know um, what I'm gonna do next episode because we kind of that's mustn't for players, but sometimes the um, the what is it now? Um, the hitbox won't really register the hit because of. Um, objects like these or for characters accessories all these accessories could actually hinder the hitbox and that is definitely what we uh, what we are gonna fix in the next episode but yeah this was everything for this episode thanks a lot for watching and have a great day see ya